Magandang araw, class. Welcome to our subject, Engineering Economy. So, unang-unang sa lahat, class, I want to thank you for staying up to this point. And this will be our farewell. No? This is our last module. We will talk about, uh, parang, parang sinabi namin na all roads will lead to Rome. Okay, bakit? Kasi, dito, ito yung bottom line ng mga economic projects. Diba? Feasibility studies. Feasible ba yung mga proyektong gagawin mo? Whether private ba yan? Whether government project ba siya? And paano, paano siya ginagawa? Through engineering analysis. Engineering economic analysis. So before we start, I, again, I want to thank you and I want to honor you. And gusto ko na rin mag-apologize. Bakit? Because uh, 90% diba ng discussion natin was purely this recording, the recorded learning videos. Uh, mas, mas gusto ko pa rin no, na nakikita ko yun ng personal. Uh, mas nang gusto ko yung energy ng klase, face to face. No? But the circumstances for this semester give us na ganito yung mangyari sa atin. Pero uh, huwag kayong madishearted, no? magiging teacher niyo pa ako ulit for the upcoming for your upcoming semester sa mga iba iba niyo, iba niyo pa mga majors in water engineering and envi and transportation. So I look forward to meeting you again. And without further ado, simulan na natin to. The last module of engineering economy feasibility of projects. So <clears throat> Ginawa ko lang ganyan yung turn class, no? Pero the reality is this. Isa lang to. Isa lang ang tinutukoy natin dito. It is the benefits and cost analysis. Okay? So the method of selecting alternatives that is most commonly used by government agencies, actually hindi lang ng government, no? But also ng private companies, uh, is simply the BC ratio or the benefits cost ratio. It is derived by this formula. The benefits uh, subtracting your disbenefits all over the cost. So from the definition of benefits, your advantages. Kumikita. No? Yung mga disadvantages are the disbenefits in the cost or the expenditures for the operation, construction, maintenance, uh, monitoring, evaluation, and so on and so forth. So kailangan na mas mataas, syempre yung numerator the benefits should be positive and the BC ratio is greater than 1. For you to consider that the project is economically sound and advantageous. So let's have the following problem. We have this uh, in <clears throat> case. Now, the national government intends to build a dam uh, and a hydro uh, electric project or power plant in the Cagayan Valley at a cost of 400 tingnan niyo naman yung mga numbers niyo. hindi na biro di ba 455 million pesos it will be financed by a, a, a loan with a rate of uh, 5% per year so ganyan di ba usually nagre-rent tayo sa mga sa JICA sa ADB sa United Nations at iba iba pang mga agency the annual cost for operation minsan sa ibang bansa rin di ba Annual cost for operation, maintenance, distribution of facilities, and the owner others would be total of 15 million. And revenues are estimated to be 56 million. It will have, uh, if the structures are to last for 50 years, take note with no salvage value, we are to determine the BC ratio of the project. So the CFD is the following. So for 50 years, we have a uh, principal, uh, uh, present, Cost of uh, 455 million investment, a total cost of annual of 15 million and uh, um, revenues of 56,500,000. 56 million 500,000. So, yan ang CFD natin. 10 points na kaya dyan, di ba, sa exam. So, the benefits, this benefits, uh, equivalent uh, annual. Ano nga ba ulit yung EUAC? Equivalent an equivalent unit annual cost. Okay? Tama ba yung EUO? 
Checker lang kala sa EUAC. Uniform ba lang? Sorry, sorry pa. So, kasi nga mga gradient yung pinag-uusapan. Equivalent uniform annual cost. Okay, so parang ano lang din, no? computation ng annual worth natin to. Okay, so the EUAC will be uh, 455 million. Ito yon. Iko-convert natin siya into uh, its annual value. So that will be finding A given P at interest of 5% and N of ilang years, 50 years. Plus, ito, annual na siya, no? kaya no need to convert. That will be 15 million 100. That will be your uh, estimated uh, cost. So, no need to simplify this. That will be a total of 40 million pesos, approximately. No? So, the cost benef benefits is 56 million annually. Very basic, no? B over C. 1.41 is greater than 1. So, okay na okay. Diba? Ganyan kadali. Ibig sabihin na kapag mayroon ka ng mga feasibility projects, you can already, pwede ka na mag-volunteer. Ako na yung consultant nito, sir. Ako na yung, kaya ko na isolve. Diba? Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan lang yun. That's the expertise that we can bring to our discipline. Diba? Next problem. So, the same, ah, uh, Using the, ano naman, the present worth method, okay? So, everything will be converted to the present worth. So, the, ano to? Uh, P given A, sorry, nag, nag, ano nga tayo, nag crush na yung, ano no, matanda na yung PowerPoint. 56,500,000, ito yon yung revenue, the benefits, will be converted to its present worth. So, that will be 56,500, uh, finding P given A at 5% in 50 years, that will be a total of 1 billion pesos. And then converting the cost, that will be uh, ito, diba? that also already in the present worth, plus the 15,100,000 uh, annual cost by the operation and expenses. Converting it to the present worth, finding P given A, okay, 5% in 50 years. So, the total of 731 million. So, by this alone, alam mo na agad, di ba? 1 billion over 700 million. Positive. Di ba? You have the same answer. Ibig sabihin that the project is ideal. Okay. So, ganun lang kadali, no? That's it's how uh, um, a very basic application of engineering economy and how it can transcend you know, our life as engineers, the society, by simply doing the numbers. So may God bless you all class. If you will have any question uh, before our final examination, comment down in this video or message me or email me personally. And I want uh, I wish you all the best. Laging galingan nyo palagi and I will always be rooting for you. So, galingan nyo sa finance. Thank you and God bless you.